let's take a quick look at the tools used by data engineers. I don't plan on talking about these tools in too much detail, but I want you to be able to recognize the names and roughly what they're used for. So firstly, engineers work with data storage, which could be in the form of a relational database or a NoSQL database. There are a few major suppliers of cloud services which also include data storage. These are Google Cloud Services, Microsoft Azure, and Amazon Web Services. Many of the next tools that we're going to discuss can be integrated into these platforms along with your data storage. We have three key coding languages, which are SQL, Python, and Scala. Now, big data has seen the volume and complexity of data increase exponentially. Tools like Hadoop, Spark, and Databricks help data engineers manage and move those masses of data. Finally, big data has also brought with it the possibility of live streaming data in real time. Tools like Kafka, PubSub, Kinesis, and Apache Beam help engineers manage these real-time data sources. As I said, don't worry about knowing the details of any of these tools. I just want you to be familiar with those terms when they pop up in conversation. We've introduced four roles that play a direct part in business intelligence. The data engineer, the data analyst, and data visualization specialist are part of the business intelligence team who work together to serve the needs of the business. Let's quickly summarize the skills that each of these roles requires. For the purposes of explanation, we've defined each of these roles quite separately. However, in the real world, these lines are likely to be very blurred between each. And this also means that the roles will share a lot of the same skills. So the skills in a BI team, as we've seen, are SQL, coding in terms of Python or R, business knowledge, analytical skills, and data visualization. At the one end, we have the more technical data engineer, who is more focused on SQL and coding, but still needs some of the other skills in order to do their job. At the other end of the spectrum, we have the visualization specialist, who is focused on data visualization, will also use a lot of analytical skills and has to know the business well. The data analyst in the middle is likely to have a combination of all of these skills. In summary, in the real world, these roles may not be so clearly defined. Responsibilities, skills, and tools are likely to be shared across roles. And for that reason, you're likely to come across a variety of different job titles that each focus on different areas of BI, from technical roles like a data architect or SQL developer, through to the more general titles of BI developer and BI partner. The job description of a BI developer, for example, is likely to involve elements from all three of the above roles. They'll be expected to do a bit of everything. More generally, you'll just have to look closely at the specific job description to see what the specific role involves and what skills they require.